now this was the question um that we discussed in the last segment here we have got um the example to find out the values of a and b and then you calculate the standard deviation and variance so just to quickly uh, go through the solution of this what we got to do is we got to firstly add up the values of the probability because that's where i get my first equation so you because it's a well defined um probability distribution function probability distribution data it should be the net probability should add up to 1 so with that i get my first equation the second is your expected value is 1.88 so in that case what you're going to do is you're going to multiply x values with corresponding probability so we get the second equation and i equate to 1.88 so when you solve the values for a and b you get the two or uh, using simultaneous equation first one and second one you get the value of a is 0.55 and value of b is 0.013 that's your uh, the that's your values of the, those are the values of a and b now to find out the variance of course you know the formula that's uh basically e of x square minus e of x the whole square so e of x square is going to be square the x values 1 square times 1/3 2 square times a 3 square times b 4 square times 0.1 and minus x bar square so this is how you calculate the variance now just coming to the last fragment of the expected value expectation uh what we have got is a uh, a fair game concept now what exactly is a fair game concept so a fair game is let's say you are uh, playing a particular um let's say event or playing a game itself now where it involves some gain of financial or like you know any particular um a uh, finance related quantities such as like uh, the the exchange of any goods that are equivalent to money it can be like the the gold it can be anything that is in real term that is in real life that we use so let's say you lose the game you lose the gold you lose the game you lose money you win the game you win money you lose the game you win some commodity or lose some commodity whatever it is now in case you have one zero amount or you have played the game entirely and you have neither won or nor lost and your expected earning is zero then we call the game to be fair now a simple thing is if you consider this is an this is a barrier now if i stand here and the the owner or a person who plays a game stands here now i'm playing a game or, or to play uh, i'm paying uh, money to this person to play a particular game that is uh, obviously is giving me some return this guy is promising me some return but it's not 100% return there is some probability linked return now if my charge that he is taking from me is same as the charge that he is giving the value that he is i'm earning then it is a fair game if either of the arrow is small if i say okay i lose too much and this guy is returning me little then it is unfair on this person and if it is vice versa that this guy is winning too much then this guy is losing and and it is not fair to this guy so that's where the concept of fair game is you neither win nor lose if your expected earning is zero that's where we call that it is a fair game let me give an example to you now i am putting let's say this is a dart of course i am going to calculate the probabilities and this is not a typical dart that we talk about now let us see these are the numbers that are labeled here uh, there are four let's say concentric circles uh, i am assume that this is these are the probabilities i already got so you don't need to worry about this so let's say this is 1 2 3 4 now if you hit one with the dart of course uh you get 10 dollars if you hit two that is in this area you get 5 dollars if you hit three you get 1 dollar and if you hit outside you lose some dollar that you lose some amount that you are you have to calculate now i wanted to uh, estimate what should be the value of p 
according to this probability that I know to make the game fair. Now, as we know that if I wanted to make the game fair, my expected earnings should be zero. So I'm gonna do this times 0.1, phi times 0.3, one times 0.2 and negative p times 0.4 and you add them up so that's your 10 times 0.1 uh, plus 5 times 0.3 and plus 1 times 0.2 and minus p times 0.4 and if this answer comes to zero then it means that my expected earning is zero that means that game is fair and if you solve for P, that's what you need to pay the, the guy back who is holding or organizing this game. They, they are giving you this amount. And in case if you hit in four, you lose this amount, that makes the game fair. So obviously uh, we can just quickly go through the answer here. So if I pay the guy who's arranging the game 6.75 per game uh, for hitting on four, then you get the game approximately fair. So this is what is the concept of fair games. So expected earning is, is zero for, for the particular event. There are some more examples that we can take. There are some more examples that we can take for uh, fair game. All right, so here um, in, in this example is pretty much similar to what we just did. So uh, the question here is that the, there, is a, there is a dot and um, the probability of hitting the dot in each reason is A, it's phi over 20, B, four over 20, and C is one over 20. Now find out the probability that the dot does not hit the board. Now obviously you gotta check, okay, does not hit the board means it goes somewhere outside. So, okay, what's the probability? Five plus four plus one, that's your nine plus one is 10. So the 10 out of 20 chances that it is hitting, so one minus 10 out of 20 chances that it is, it is hitting outside. It is, it is basically 10 over 20 itself, which is half. So this is the probability of missing. So now they're saying that the contestant score, scores points as shown in the following table. If they hit in region A, they get zero point. So probability if I hit in region A is five over 20. Probability if I hit in region B is four on 20. Probability if I hit in region C is one on 20. And probability of not hitting the board is you're gonna pay minus three to the to the basically lose three points is basically uh, ten on twenty. That's a half. Now they're saying that game is fair. Find the value of Q. Now if the game is fair. The expected earning five over twenty times zero, four over twenty times Q, plus one over twenty times ten, uh, plus uh, ten over twenty times negative three. This should be zero if this is a fair game. And if you solve for the value of Q, you get the answer. So let's check the value of Q uh, because there's a mark scheme available. So the value of Q is approximately five here. So, so this is how you tackle the questions on fair game. I hope it is clear.